welcome back folks another episode of firewood doctor thank you for stopping in that, that are new to my channel uh, this is how I sharpen prep a saw it's already prepped from the last time I used it but I ran into a few nails like this tooth is buggered up this one's buggered up this one's all right this one's all right this one's buggered up buggered up all right you never know where they're gonna hit so let's see there's a I don't remember if there's a link on this one Because it's an even driver, there is not a skip. I just gotta pick a spot, start filing away. Let's see. Yep, nice and shiny. I watch what I'm doing so I don't take the sharpness that I just put on there. Ooh, that's hot. The tooth angle is off, so I was trying to correct that. That's why I jumped. Other times when it jumps, I'm just being careless. No danger running out of battery because I just charged it up this morning. There, now that's sharp. Now to get the other side. For some reason, I find it easier to sharpen the teeth on that side. Okay. I'm going to leave this really buggered up tooth for last and start with this one. Yeah. 
That one was really buggered up. One thing I, I'm trying new, uh, I just tested it out on the other side. I'm sharpening this. And you notice I'm using my thumb here. That seems to help guide and steady it. It feels like I'm more confident in doing a good job and it seems to help hold the angle. It doesn't want to jump out of the tooth as much, damaging the uh, sharp edge you just put on. Dude, that's whole side already? No. It's just they're that sharp. They're that sharp because not all the teeth got nailed. Literally with nails or something. There we go. That's how I prep a saw for cutting, and that's how I uh, fix a chain in the field too. I got I took the rakers down last time I filed it. I did about a face cord and hit nails, so it sucks. Uh, a few videos back. I buggered up a chain, hit a rock or a nail or something, saw a spark, and it like, and well, it's still cutting decent, but not great. So, slap a new chain on. Chips just a flying. That was on the 550 XP I sold, by the way. But like, you know, less than a dozen cuts later, you know, I did like eight or ten cuts or something like that. Hit a nail again, screwed up a brand new chain. Well, not too bad. I had to sharpen it, you know. But. It, it it just happens, you know. You could have a pile of lugs like what I work with. Uh, there could be a hidden piece of dirt or a nail on the other side. And um, bang, there goes your chain. You know, you gotta sharpen it. So yeah, it's uh, it's hard on the saws when you don't have properly sharpened chain. Now, uh, the bigger the the more powerful the saw, the more dull the chain can be, and it could still push it through. But it, it's still not good. You. You put more heat into the chain and, and bar that transfers into the bearings and that transfers into premature uh, engine failure. 
or you know, or, or hurts the clutch because the clutch has to deal with that much more drag. And that's never a good thing. You can burn out your clutches or your bearings faster. And then and it's not as much fun, you know. Some people, are like, oh, I just got, you know, I'll just finish this tank. Just sharpen the dang chain. Don't be a lazy bugger, you know. That's my opinion, you know. Uh, but if there's just like one or two cuts left, it's still cutting good, but not great. You know, like the end of a chain, you know, when you had two tanks of gas on a sharp chain. You know, I've actually on this Hypa chain, I've gone three tanks on a sharpening. After two tanks, it's still cutting great, you know. Started great in the third tank. Halfway through, it slowed down. So I think the limit on this chain is uh, two tanks of fuel. As long as you don't hit anything, you cut clean wood, meaning you know no nails, no dirt in the bark, don't hit the ground, don't hit stones under the logs that are part of the ground. The, the ground. It'll go two tanks of gas cutting old dry oak. You know, so... Well, that's it. Now I gotta go pack up, go get some uh, free wood. But first, I gotta hit the gas station. Not literally hit it, you know, the brakes still work. But get some water so I have it with me. Maybe a light snack. Now to go get some free wood to help build up my inventory. So, until next time, folks, take care, go out there, do something, and have fun doing it.